Hey, what's up guys? It's GVK Collectibles, and today the Seatopians are evading the surface world trying to attack us with Megalon. But there is one person that could stop them. Not a person, but a robot. Get ready to punch, punch, punch with the Playmates Jet Jaguar. As I said, today we'll be taking a look at the Playmates Jet Jaguar. So this is essentially, uh, since uh, Playmates has the control of the master license, they were, they've been doing very much what Bandai has been doing with the Bandai Creations line. Uh, this is very similar, but it's just the Playmates. I think this is the Playmates 6.5 classic line. Uh, and this, when this guy was announced, I was super excited that uh, they were doing, but I was also hesitant because some of the uh, the Playmates figures are here to miss. Uh, for those of you who know, uh, they took over the master li they took over the license uh, from NECA, so NECA couldn't do uh, figures. But that seems to definitely be changing because we actually just recently today we got announcements of the uh, Mezco stuff coming from uh, of Godzilla stuff, which looks phenomenal and really really cool stuff. I don't know if I'll get it, but it looks really really cool. But uh, this guy, we were at me and Jack's pop guy, we were actually hunt out hunting around looking for stuff uh, and we stopped at Target and I had heard that they were stocking uh, these figures at Target now instead of uh, well along with Walmart too and I was super excited to find this Jet Jaguar as soon as this guy was revealed I was super excited because he was in because I still uh, there's not really too many Jet Jaguar figures uh, I mean, I say that, of course, but there is the uh, the singular point one that uh, Bandai has done. I actually have that one on back order along with the Godzilla. But when this guy was announced, I was super, super excited to see him. And also, we're getting a new Bandai uh, creation uh, monster movie series one, which I have the old one uh, still. But it was super cool to get this one because he was in an action pose, which I was very, very excited about. Because the if for those of you who have the older Bandai one, which I think came out in 2006, I believe. I could be completely wrong. Uh, he was not. He was just like in a kind of a default pose which is unfortunately the case with a lot of those particular figures but this guy is not any this guy is different he actually comes into a pose and he actually looks really really good i really love the look of this figure he looks really really cool uh really well done i think the paint is a little uh like on on camera it looks really really good actually but in person it's a little kind of darker than uh like it is normally but that's besides the point it looks fantastic so you get like with any of the band decoration or the previous playmate figures you do get godzilla and you do get the character's name jet jaguar you get the godzilla logo to show that this is an official godzilla product which is kind of what they've been doing uh for the last Last few times. Uh, then you get, strangely enough, you get the uh, a Bandai creation uh, Godzilla 2000 in the background, which is very, very funny. I think they actually did re-release -re -re this one uh, under the Playmates banner because technically uh, they own Band. Uh, technically, Toho owns the molds for pretty much all these characters. So, say if another like statue company or something wanted to do an upscale version of this, make it a little bit better, they could technically use this mold, which is very interesting. So you got on the side too where you got Godzilla Jet Jaguar, which looks pretty cool. Then you get the previous figures in the back, and this is what I'm talking about. The uh, the other figures haven't been well received. I think the Playmates, the Godzilla vs Kong line, is really really good. Uh, Mainly that Kong figure is really, really cool. The Skull Crawler is really fantastic. I haven't gotten the Mecha Godzilla figure, but that one looks really, really fantastic. I may get that one till SH Monster Art announces their own. Uh, but these are some of the other lines. So uh, I actually saw the uh, Godzilla 1995, and I have to honestly say, in my opinion, it is one of the best Playmates Godzillas uh, outside of like the Godzilla vs. Kong line. Uh, but you do get uh, Exhibit M. Ray, uh, Derpy King. Uh, Space Godzilla and Derpy uh, Final Wars God, uh, Godzilla, which is very weird because the there is a 11 inch figure of this, and the 11 inch mold is actually really good. A lot of people actually prefer it uh, over the Bandai mold, uh, but either way, you get all these other monsters too, which is really really cool. You get Jet Jaguar here in his cool little pose. Uh, you get really nothing at the bottom, nothing there. Uh, so yeah, that is the uh, boxing and everything. So let's get into let's get him out of the box and see how this new Jet Jaguar figure is. Right, and here we have Jet Jaguar, the Playmates Jet Jaguar, out of the packaging. And while I do like this figure, I think my biggest complaint right off the bat is 
even though he's in this dynamic pose, he is not really able to stand up really well. As you see, I do have a NECA flight base right here connected to him so he can just stand up. Probably one of my biggest complaints about the figure, but like other than that, I do think this is a step in the right direction for Playmates when it comes to the classic Godzilla line. Uh, I mean, surely enough, we are getting newer kind of lines from different companies. We are getting the Mezco stuff, of course, and we are getting... Um, we are getting uh, the Super 7 stuff eventually. Uh, that stuff hasn't been quite revealed yet, but uh, but for generally, like, the 6.5, uh, like, the Playmate stuff, I do think they are getting better with a lot of their figures. Like, uh, my biggest complaint is that the figure can't really stand up too well on its own, and you know what? That could, like, be me. That could be possibly my figure, but maybe, because uh, it, it is, uh, things to note about this figure. So, while the other uh, Playmates figures, uh, the previous Playmate figures, I should say, have a harder plastic, this guy is completely soft plastic, which is very much like the Bandai vinyls and the, cla like, even the Japanese movie monster series, which I think is a good thing, and that's a great 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 thing because it is more like it's a more flexible figure it's a little maybe a little cheaper to produce i know i don't know uh but the quality is definitely a lot better like the colors on the suit look really uh, on jet jaguar look really really great really fantastic they look exactly like how he does in the film uh they are a little like kind of a little darker than the normal well when we get into it we will do comparisons to the band the, my, the only other Jet Jaguar I have is the Bandai uh, vinyl one. So before, when we jump into that, uh, there really isn't too, like, his articulation is relatively basic, which is about normal for these kind of figures. I, like, these are, that's the thing, you're not expecting NECA quality, like, NECA articulation, or even SH Monster art articulation from these guys. They're really only just a few points of articulation, but, like, I think this is definitely the step in the right direction for uh, Playmates with the design and everything, but before we jump into, uh, well, we'll jump into some of his uh, finer details uh, and some do some size comparisons. So uh, let's get into uh, seeing his details. All right, and here we have a close-up of Jet Jaguar. As I said, uh, I think the camera does a lot better job of like really pop making the colors pop on this figure. Uh, they're a lot brighter on camera than they are really, uh, than normal. I would say they are relatively darker in comparison to uh, what we see in the movie and even what we see on like previous figures, which is very, very interesting. But uh, nevertheless, uh, as I said, this is definitely a right step in uh, Mattel's, uh, not Mattel, uh, Playmates' direction of doing uh, their Godzilla line uh, for uh, a small, kind of a smaller audience. So what you'll notice is the head sculpt is really, really good. Dead on, I think it looked it, 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 that's Jet Jaguar. You can't tell me otherwise that's not Jet Jaguar. Uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, there's actually a lot of sculpted detail that they did within the head. Like, this is where his antennas would pop up uh, if he was in fly mode, which is really, really cool. You get the bolts and everything. Like, the, the sculpting is on the figures looks really, really good. Because this is, a, I believe, an, a completely new mold. Because the, uh, the previous Bandai one, as I said, it just doesn't have really... It's not in a pose or anything. It's just kind of in a neutral pose, which is very uh, normal. Then you get the back of the figure which looks really really cool uh, the one thing i will say like with the camera uh on and e like you if you get this guy in the right light the colors pop really really good and it looks really really well done the uh like the plastic uh, as i said it is the much uh like softer plastic as opposed to the harder plastic we'll get into comparisons to other playmate figures and you'll see what i'm talking about uh but yeah he looks really really good like really really well done uh and you also get all the credits right here you get toho 2021 but yeah, he, like he looks really, really too good. So in, po in terms of articulation, he doesn't really have too much articulation. He can, you can move his waist around that much, and both his arms move up, uh, which you can like. This is kind of the Jet Jaguar figure I've always wanted. I wanted one which can be in a battle pose of when it's like gonna, like he's gonna fight Megalon or something or Gigan. Uh, this is kind of the pose that I've always wanted to have. Also, another detail I think I noticed. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of showed. It's a little hard to tell, but there is like the little rings, uh, like the little, there's little circles in the middle of his eyes, which look really, really good. Uh, the paint, like, as I said, the paint apps look really, really good. As I said, this is a vast improvement over previous Mattel, fi uh, not Mattel, Playmates figures uh, when it comes to the Godzilla line, comparative to like really the first Shin Godzilla, the Shin Godzilla that we got, which is really not the best. Shin God, like it isn't the best looking figure I will say uh, neither is the Space Godzilla or the Destroyer uh, but there is like and, and that's the thing I think there are some that Mattel uh, Playmates did some do 
did some really good figures. I love the Kong uh, from Skull Island. I think that's a really, really good mold. The big uh, Final Wars Godzilla looks amazing. The Gigan from Final Wars looks really, really cool and really well done. I actually have that one in my collection still. So, uh, but yeah. Oh, uh, oh yeah, hey. Uh, well, he'll like stand up for like a little bit. There we go. There we go. We got we got him standing up. So, oh, and he fell down. So he can't really stand up on his own too well, which is a little bit unfortunate. But that's besides the point. But anyway, I do think this is a really really cool figure. And also, uh, the detail like within the uh, you get the colors and everything. It's really really good. And for like a, I honestly think like a fifteen dollar figure roughly. Uh, these are relatively cheap. I think they're a little bit more expensive. They're like a twenty dollar figure at. Uh, Target. I'm not completely sure. Don't quote me on it. I can't remember how much exactly it was, but these are a little cheaper. Uh, they're like 15 bucks at Walmart, so you can't really argue with the quality that you're getting with a $15 figure, which is really good. Like, I mean, this is a like this is definitely a good sign of improvement on Playmates' part uh, to say, because I know there was a lot of people who did not like like the Playmates figures. I found some cool ones, as I said, but. But I feel like this is a vast improvement over any of the other Playmate figures we have gotten so far. The, the few, like, the, this one makes, like, the worst uh, figure look bad, the greatest. So, uh, with that out of the way, let's get into, try to get into some size comparisons to see what he scales with uh, in comparison. Uh, and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of like, uh, I I'm really excited to have this figure, but I'm also like, there is that, like, still that, uh, in, like, a little bit of disappointment of him not being able to stand on his own. Uh, one thing I did like with Mattel, we'll, I'll show you with the uh, Geigen figure when we do, uh, he actually has, like, kind of hollowed, like, feet, so he's, e like, he's able to stand up, which is what you would want. So, uh, with that out of the way, without me gabbering on ranting, not ranting, but just saying, uh, let's get into some size comparisons and see, uh, how he skips. Here's JJ compared to some other, uh, Playmates figures. We have the Playmates Gigan, we have the Playmates Kong from Skull Island, and we also have the Battle Axe, uh, Kong. Actually, one of my second, I think my second review uh, on the YouTube channel. So, as you can tell, uh, I do definitely think, the, to me, the Gigan figure was really, at one point, was one of the best Playmates figures. I think it looks phenomenal. It looks really, really good. Could use a few paint apps. I wish there was a little bit of articulation with the claw, the sickle claw, where you could, like, rotate it. But, like, other than that, I do think this is was one of the great, one of the best Playmates figures. The Kong is really, really good, too. Wish he didn't have just the pale expression. I wish he had more of the, this kind of head sculpt of where it looked a little better. Uh, as I said, the, J the Jet Jaguar is a really vast improvement overall uh, with paint Playmates and their quality, as you'll like kind of notice, like so with the Kong. It's at that, that, that much more harder plastic, and where this, it's like, I don't know if that's picking up, but it is like you can like, it's very, very flexible, which is a good thing, I think, and I think this is the right decision. Also, I, I think I said at the beginning of the video, while I didn't get the Playmates Burning Godzilla, I do think that is arguably the best Godzilla figure that Playmates has came out with. Uh, the teeth, uh, the, if you guys notice with, like, mainly the Space Godzilla, the teeth don't really like the... They, just pure uh, molded there really the mold on the teeth there isn't really any gaps between and that could also be the paint app paint apps but the paint apps were they are a lot better I, I they are continuously getting better with these figures which i think is a good thing uh and i do i do hope for the best that they continue to put out more stuff like the jet jaguar i think it's a really really great figure uh i think uh, people who do customizations for this i think if they want to make it a little bit more accurate to the source material kind of brighten up those colors, I think they'll do a fantastic job with that. And here is the, really the classic, the Monster Movie uh, series uh, Jet Jaguar that came out forever ago, and you could definitely notice the difference quality with each other. It wasn't until recently, until I got this guy in hand to see the differences with this, but I do think it is a good, uh, like, 
it's great that they were able to do what they've been doing with these figures. And that's also another thing you'll notice, the Jet Jaguar has a little bit more pointy feet with this. Uh, and there is a new uh, version of this one coming out. Not the same pose, it actually has a action pose similar to this guy. Uh, if you notice, the colors, as I said, you can actually tell between the difference of the colors here, where uh, you have, well, it is the, it's, this is a mix, mixture of a yellow and orange, and this is just a plain yellow, uh, and like the silver and the red. Uh, it is it is a little different, and this is a figure like from several years ago. Also, another, yeah, there's another thing too where his uh, antenna don't need, don't necessarily like they aren't as big, but that is a small difference. I do love the blue eyes though on Jet Jaguar. Uh, it very much reminds me of the uh, newer kind of figures. He does look really, relatively good. I think this is definitely a vast improvement over the previous, uh, like, Playmates figures, as I continue to say, but I am very happy to have these both. I'm very also happy, I'm going to be happy when I get the uh, singular point Jet Jaguar and the other Jet Jaguar, because I feel like there isn't enough Jet Jaguar in the world, and I think a lot of people will agree with me on that. Here we have Jet Jaguar and Godzilla fighting side by side. Uh, so overall thoughts on the Playmates Jet Jaguar figure. I really like the figure. Uh, my biggest complaint and really disappointment is the figure not being able to stand, although that could once again, easily be changed with maybe a heat dryer. This is just an immediate figure review of this figure, but uh, other than that, other than not being able to stand, I think it is a, really a big step up for Playmates uh, in general. I think uh, they had been stepping it up with like a lot of their other, like the, the Kong figure I thought was really, really good. Like the Godzilla, some of the Godzilla vs. Kong stuff was really, really good. The Godzilla's were really, really cool. Uh, even though they weren't technically my thing, I was more so interested in the Kong stuff. Uh, and, like, the other stuff. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten, like, the Mech Godzilla or anything, but, like, once again, it, it, they are definitely improving, and I do give them, uh, props for actually really doing a good job. The trans, uh, going back to the softer plastic, I think that's a great idea. Uh, the toys don't break as much. I actually saw a Final Wars that actually was broken, and it is that harder plastic, but I think it is cool that they're going back to that kind of softer plastic, which is, I think, a really, really good thing. The Godzilla, the Burning Godzilla, is also uh, a step in the right direction as well. Uh, but I feel like these Playmate figures are definitely in a step in the right direction if they keep going in the direction that they are uh, with these figures. My only, once again, my only complaint about the figure is really it cannot stand on its own. Uh, but that could be easily figured out with a heat dryer that can uh, position its feet. But uh, overall thoughts, I enjoy the figure. I think it's really, really great. I love having any opportunity I can get a Jet Jaguar figure in my collection. Uh, it's... It's just excellent. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, those are my overthought. If you are a big fan of Jet Jaguar uh, and you don't want to spend a god awful amount on uh, this guy right here, uh, I do definitely suggest if you can find this guy at Target or Walmart, definitely pick him up. I think he is a worthy addition to your collection. And if you're a customizer, you can make this guy look like this guy, uh, make him a little bit more screen accurate, which, like, I think will be no problem for you guys. Uh, but yeah, th that's uh, today's uh, Figure Review Friday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, Funko review I did of the Godzilla. I actually filmed that like a while ago, the same day I actually filmed the Jerome review. Uh, but uh, I hope you like it. It's something a little shorter. If you guys liked it, uh, I'll probably do more. I got a lot more Funko Pops, uh, like a lot of the more Godzilla Funko Pops on the way, so, uh, and in my collection right now. So if you want to see reviews of those, I'm definitely up to uh, doing a review of those guys so uh with that being said that's a review uh for figure review friday i uh, hope uh you guys like uh and subscribe to uh the channel of course uh big like button of course big help for me and uh, jack's pop guy uh we enjoy doing these reviews uh well i enjoy doing the reviews we enjoy doing the channel in general i think we should say uh also, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you get notified when we upload uh, Mythical Map Monday, What's in the Box Wednesday, Figure Review Fridays, and uh, a special Sunday show, which, I don't know, uh, Jack's Pop Guy is still in development, so uh, keep a lookout for that when it drops. Uh, also, check us out on Instagram and uh, at uh, GBK Collectibles, of course, and Jack's Pop Guy. My bro brother, check us out on Macari, uh, too, uh, both. All those links will be down below. And also, make sure to check out my new Facebook page. So I actually started a Facebook page. It's very much similar to uh, my Instagram page. Uh, I'll be posting, like, my toy photography. I'll post, like, hauls. I will post uh, 
like figures and talk about like and Blu-rays, anything that I really love, anything that you see on the Instagram and pretty much on here too, uh, you'll see on that page too. So if you could uh, give a like to that too, it'll be in the links uh, down below too, along with the Instagram pages. So with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Be safe and peace. And remember, punch, 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 punch.